Hi, I'm Christina and I'm currently a freshman at UC Berkeley and it's been a month since I got here so I wanted to share with you 10 life lessons that I have learned from a month at Berkeley. So let's just get started. The first lesson I learned is that hug those you love hard while you still can. So I never used to be the type of person who would get really homesick and I guess this was because I always knew I would return home soon. Regardless of where I was, what I was doing, I knew I would get to see those I love on my own terms. But after coming here, I experienced and still experience true homesickness. I often wish that I hugged my parents, my brother, my dog, my grandparents, my cousins and my friends harder while I still could. Now that I can't, I really miss it. So lesson learnt. Hug your loved ones, tomorrow is never promised. Lesson number two, be comfortable with being uncomfortable. This is a piece of advice I have actively been trying to take on board since getting here. Being in a foreign country surrounded by foreign people means that everything I have experienced so far has involved some degree of uncomfortableness. But I have come to realise the situations we grow the most from are the situations where we feel the most uncomfortable. Of course, there is a certain threshold, but being willing to try new experiences adds so much more colour to your life. For example, I decided to rush when I got here. I did not necessarily think a sorority was something I would suit, but I still tried it out and I ended up meeting so many cool people during the process. Know that growing up is all about being comfortable with being uncomfortable, being content with being in situations that may challenge you the most. Lesson number three, you are your own biggest advocate. When you really think about it, if you won't even back yourself up, who will? Nobody is obligated to. I think growing up, the idea of humility was really ingrained in me. I often downplayed my achievements even if I worked really hard for them. However, although I think humility is a good trait, you have to know when you should not be humble. Earlier this month, I interviewed for a position in a committee at Berkeley and I did not end up getting the role. In retrospect though, I realised I really downplayed my experience as humbleness is ingrained in me. After talking to some friends about it, they all said, Tina, that was one of the situations where you should have advocated for yourself. How will they know how good you are if you don't tell them? So don't be afraid to be your biggest advocate. There is nothing wrong with it. Sometimes you need to be. Lesson number four, effective study skills are everything. Man, if I could go back to high school, one piece of advice I would give myself is to use effective study methods. I used to take the most beautiful, copious amounts of notes. I would read a textbook and paraphrase, feeling like I was studying a lot. And in truth, I was studying a lot. However, I was not learning a lot. Study techniques such as highlighting, taking notes are part of the least effective and efficient study techniques. I know some people may feel like these are the methods that work with them, which is cool too. But don't let techniques you think are already effective hold you back from trying something new. You don't know how much you may like other methods. I know I personally held on to note taking, but now I have started taking notes less and using more active recall techniques such as practice questions and flashcards. I find myself studying a bit less but receiving better grades. A worthy trade off I'd say. Lesson number 5. Give yourself what you need over what you want. Life is all about choices. From the moment we wake up to the moment we go to sleep, we are constantly making choices. Coming to college, I am faced with so many choices every day especially during the night. I am lucky to be on a very social floor with absolutely amazing people which means I am often faced with the dilemmas of whether to hang out with everyone or perhaps do something that I need, such as sleep. Although it is good to have a balance, I find it is best for my personal well-being when I choose what I need over what I may want. I feel good when I get the sleep that I needed or the break my mind asks me for, but I don't always feel good after doing what I crave, such as scrolling on Instagram for hours or watching YouTube. So take some time to think about whether you are choosing what you crave over what you want. Lesson number six, there are so many opportunities at Berkeley, but it is up to you to take them on board. And I guess this is probably true for life in general too. A month in, I have realized the extent of opportunities at Berkeley. Even just walking through Sproul Plaza on campus, there are so many stalls advertising various clubs. However, despite the masses of opportunity, it is still up to you to take them on board. Ultimately, you have to sign up and do the work. Berkeley can offer you everything, but you hold the power to accept. Lesson number seven, mistakes are not scary. Avoiding mistakes at all costs is much scarier. I used to be so scared of making mistakes, and I guess this came from the fear of judgement from others. But I have realised that making mistakes is not scary. 
mistakes are signs that I am learning, trying and applying, which are all actions that will help me grow into the person I want to become. What's scarier than mistakes is avoiding mistakes at all costs. When you do so, you miss out on the growth you experience when you allow yourself to explore. You miss out on a lot of opportunities. Long story short, make mistakes. Whether it is trying to solve unfamiliar maths problems, wearing new styles of clothing, producing a new song, allow yourself to explore fearlessly. Ask those questions when you're unsure. You know, don't be scared to be the one to suggest an answer when everyone is silent. Lesson number eight, schedule your tasks and finish them in advance. This has been so important for my mental well-being here. I'm currently taking Math 1A and Chem 1A, which are quite challenging classes for freshmen at Berkeley. There has been a few moments where I felt so overwhelmed by the work I had left ahead of me, especially since it feels like we are trapped in an endless cycles of homework and midterms. The whole semester is basically midterm season at Berkeley. I found the best way to ground myself is to plan and carry out my plans. I like to schedule my tasks for the week using my calendar and an app called Shovel. Shovel lets me plan in advance and it lets me see how much time I have left to do each thing and I really I, I like it a lot. Seeing what I have to do in advance and then finishing these tasks in advance allows me to feel like I'm on top of it, giving me some free time to enjoy other hobbies such as making this YouTube video and running my food page. But beware. Even though it is good to plan, don't let the planning add to your stress. Don't be too caught up in the details and have faith in yourself that you can only try your best. Lesson number nine. Life is too short to be consumed by your insecurities. Everybody has insecurities. I have insecurities. However, Berkeley students have shown me confidence. For example, the fashion at Berkeley is so diverse. So many people are confident to explore their own styles, which has inspired me to be more adventurous in my personal style too. I realize that my insecurities prevent me from doing some of the things that make life so much more fun. So I hope to grow more confidence in myself, and I hope you will too. It is okay to have insecurities, but life is way too short to allow your insecurities to control how you live your life. You don't have to be who you have always been. And moving to a country where barely anyone knows me has let me explore the size of myself I was always too insecure to explore before. And the thing is, I have realized people literally don't care about what I perceive to be the force of myself. I have even received compliments on some of my insecurities. Be unapologetically yourself. Lesson number 10. You are never alone. At Berkeley, it is so easy to feel alone. You feel like a small fish in a big pond, a walking statistic. Admittedly, there has been a few times where I felt isolated. Developing deep connections and finding friends who just get you is not easy. But even so, you are never alone. So many more people care about you than you think. Your friends, your families, even some strangers. With technology now, it is easier to send a message now than ever before. So if you ever feel lonely, don't hesitate to send a message. You are so loved. And there are a lot of resources online where you can get some help too. And that concludes the 10 lessons I have learned during this past month. I hope you enjoyed it and hopefully I'll make another one maybe in a month's time and see how much I've learned and grown then. Have a good day and stay safe. Bye!